Hello. So we're back with this Selma. This is not so much of a part two <laughs> as a condemnation. Um, I've decided to call it time on this one. There's too many things it's doing. This board's in a terrible state. Um, you know, it's a shame really because it's an old vintage amp, but there's a lot of work involved sorting this amp out. And in the end, you know, from a financial um, point, it's really not a viable repair. So I don't do this often with old amps, but in this case, it's this one it's i'm calling time on it so having done that we now need to see what parts we can salvage off of this because that's all part of um when you write an amp off you can break it and use some parts i've got some great um great knobs on this which are very uh, usable and there's eight of them so i'll be using those so that's the first thing. So let's have a look at, at what else is usable on this amp. So we've got the jack sockets. So we've got there, we've got two of those. Um, the switch. Um, I'm a bit funny about switches. I, I may save that switch, but I'll probably only use that on a vintage amp if someone wants a direct replacement. It is uh, double pole, double throw, but I tend to use new switches on amps if I can, but I probably will save that. Uh, the pilot light, which is um, a, bit, a bit of neon one or whatever, that's on, on the 240 volt line. That will save that. They're always useful. What else? That bracket there is very useful for the capacitor. And they're two or three quid, so we'll save that. It'll save us some money. And the parts. So we're going to have a look at these parts and see what type of parts they are. And to do that, we need to really get get the knob off and get one out and have a look. But what I'm also going to do with this amp is I'm going to save the chassis. And the reason for that is this chassis is quite big. And I tend to save chassis to use as test beds. When we did that, um, the amp that we built with the television valves, that was built on a, a Blackstar HD5 chassis. And I'd saved that chassis for a while, and I and I have used, I have built quite a few projects on that, just experimentals and and whatnot. So I thought this will be ideal because I have got a few projects in mind that are coming up, and because I tend to use um, quite a few quite a few valves that have have not really been used in guitar amps before. It. Uh, it's handy to have a, a nice test bed or something just to keep, just to experiment on. And then when you've got, a, you know, a design that works, then you can uh, move, you can get a proper chassis and move the whole design when you've you've got your schematic drawn up. So that's that's the way I tend to do it. Um, just looking at these pots, they're not CTSs, I don't think. Just having a look. No, they're not. But they were saving, I think that's 50k on that one. So we'll put the washers back on those, like so. And we'll save all of those. They always come in handy. Yeah, sometimes these uh, 50k ones, they're, they're okay. We can make them as bias pots, things like that. They're useful. And then this, we've got some wire on here. We've got some a nice piece of... The, quality screen cable there so we'll save that as well so just basically that what we won't save the boards will be thrown away there's nothing i want to keep off the board so the components are old um obviously the electrolytics will go and um, will we save the transformer probably not because they're very rare those blow you know you, you need never ever see these type of solid state amps where the transformers blown ever i've never ever seen one so that and that looks like a double. I think that, yes, it is. So I think when we take all of that off, that'll fall off. Yeah. So that's what we're going to use this for as, as a test bed. We don't need we don't need to put it in its case for that. It's just simply going to be a test bed. And all I'll do basically is is I'll fasten some just some wooden feet so it sits on the bench and then it can be used just just to 
fit some valve sockets, fit some transformers and things like that. And and there's plenty of space on this, so you know it, it, I can take off of transformers, add another transformer for another project, so on. There's just, just so much I can do with this, so it's it's ideal really. And also, <laughs> by the look of it, it looks like somebody's dr put some drill arts for some octal tubes, so that's even more good. So we can use that as well. So that's basically what's going to happen with the uh, Selma Base 100, I'm afraid. So, so that that's just a that was just just a quick video to let people know what's happening with this. Um, a sad one, but we can't save everything. Sometimes it's just not worth the time and and the cost. Um, and you know, if this amp had never been touched and it was all original, then I would have you know dived into it. Um, but it's had so much, so much done to it. Um, we don't know. We don't even know if these were the original trans transistors. It's running hot. This thing's missing off it. There's broken tracers. So I think with that, it's time to call it a day. So that'll do for this one. So it's only a short one. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, you all take care. And I'll see you in a future video. Bye-bye for now.